Praise the Lord, everybody. This is Prophetess Equilla, and you are joining me for a time in the secret place where I'm here with you every Tuesday and Thursday on the New Creation Christian Network. So I want to say welcome to today's broadcast. If you have been joining me, you know that we have been doing a series on deliverance and spiritual warfare. And in today's session, we are going to um, begin to look at the language and the terminology um, that you should be using during times of warfare prayer. Specifically, we are going to key in on binding and loosing. All right. So just as a recap, I want to remind you that deliverance is the children's bread. What does that mean? That means that you have a right to um, receive your freedom from any form, any and all forms of demonic um, oppression or vexation in life. Hallelujah. That God has made a way through Jesus Christ to get us free and to keep us free. All right. But you have a responsibility um, to know that you have been given authority and power over the works of darkness in your life. Hallelujah. And that you, hallelujah, can bind the devil. Hallelujah. Bind the, his works, bind the work of darkness and, and loose yourself from all forms of demonic attack. So that's what we are going to focus in on in this session. I hope you have done some fasting. Remember, I've been encouraging you throughout this series um, that you may want to fast um, on Tuesdays and Thursdays um, so that you can, can easily receive um, the deliverance as we go into the prayer portion. And I want to remind you that um, Jesus Christ is our deliverer that Jesus came to set the captives free, that deliverance ministry is a part of setting the captives free, and that you have a right as a child of God to minister self-deliverance, to get yourself free in any area, and to stay free, to get free and to stay free. Okay, so that's why we are encouraging you in this area hallelujah remember that Jesus has given you authority over devils evil spirits unclean spirits let's look at mark 16 17 I've given you this scripture in the series but I'm just kind of doing a quick recap hallelujah and these signs shall follow them that believe in my name shall they cast out devils they shall speak with new tongues all right so you are to use the name of jesus when engaging in your spiritual warfare so as we get into talking about binding and loosing okay you bind the devil in jesus name hallelujah you loose yourself hallelujah from demonic oppression in Jesus' name we, everything that we do in spiritual warfare and deliverance is through Christ's authority, all right? And so I just want you to remember that we don't come in our own strength and we don't come in our own identity, but we are hidden in Jesus Christ, okay? Praise the name of Jesus. Let me give you Matthew 16, 19, write that down, and then I'm going to give you... Matthew 18 18 but let's start with Matthew 16 19 and I'm reading from the King James Version it says and I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven okay Jesus has given you He's given me, he's given believers, all those that believe in his name, he's given us the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Okay, so we have the keys and we can bind on earth and we can loose 
on earth okay and those things that we are binding on earth they have already been bound in heaven and whatsoever we loose on earth is going to be loosed in the heavenlies all right praise the name of Jesus now I'm going to give you Matthew 18 18 I'm going to give it to you in the amplified it says I assure you and most solemnly say to you whatever you bind forbid declare to be improper and unlawful on earth shall have already been bound in heaven okay so we are remember that we are basically enforcing what Jesus has already done in the heavenlies okay and let me continue reading that whatever you loose permits and declare lawful on the earth shall have already been loosed in heaven all right so it's very important that you stay connected with the holy spirit because the holy spirit will lead you in binding and loosing hallelujah as you engage in spiritual warfare prayers so let me just make the statement again you have Jesus has given you the authority to bind and loose and so let's define I want to define in detail for you what bind means okay bind it means to make secure by tying to confine to restrain or restrict as with bonds to constrain with legal authority to exert a restraining or a compelling effect to arrest to apprehend to handcuff to lead captive to take charge of to lock up to fetter to shackle to chain to hold back okay hallelujah to check to curb to put a break on hallelujah to call a halt hallelujah to put a stop to so the, just think about the, the the works of darkness hallelujah you have a right to bind any type of demonic attack hallelujah you have the right to re, put a stop to it okay anything that the devil is coming against you with in your life in your prayer time you have the legal authority hallelujah to bind the devil to check the devil hallelujah to put a stop to what the devil is doing through your prayers binding is done by legal authority okay because Jesus gave us legal authority to use his name to bind the devil to bind the works of darkness remember the word of God says that for this cause was the Son of God manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil and we are the disciples of Christ in our generation and so we are supposed to continue to do what Jesus Christ did amen hallelujah praise the name of Jesus and so you have to know what the Word of God says you have to know who you are in Christ Jesus so what are you might be saying what well, prophet is what are some of the works of darkness and I'm just gonna give you what some of the works of darkness um, falls in into that it, it encompasses sin iniquity perversion sickness disease infirmity death curses witchcraft sorcery divinate poverty lack strife lust rebellion fear torment and confusion and so I'm going to say to you yes as a born-again believer you have legally you have a legal authority given to you by Jesus Christ to put a stop to any of these works of darkness hallelujah the devil okay by binding if you feel 
hallelujah right hallelujah to bind it in the name of jesus i bind the spirit of infirmity i bind the spirit of disease i bind the spirit of perversion i bind the spirit of pride i bind the spirit of fear in my life i bind the spirit of torment manifesting in my life i bind the spirit of confusion manifesting in my life i bind it in the name of jesus do you see this is how you get free and stay free by recognizing that you have a legal right a legal authority to bind any type of demonic attack that would try to come into your life all right remember um the devil tried jesus so he will try us as well one of the things that you can't get condemned you can't feel like well why am i under attack you're under attack because you are a part of the kingdom of light and there is a war between two kingdoms okay hallelujah so the devil will uh, he attacks all of us but we have to know who we are in christ jesus remember the word of god says that the thief comes hallelujah because he's coming to try to steal to kill and to destroy in our lives but jesus said that i have come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly and you have to understand that when the devil comes you have a right to resist the devil in your faith stance you have a right hallelujah to bind the devil hallelujah you don't have to just accept what the devil brings against you in your life and you do this through your times of prayer and through your times of supplication okay hallelujah praise the name of jesus glory to god i pray that you are being encouraged on today hallelujah now let's talk about um loosing we talked about binding and i want to make sure that we touch on loosing in this session as well so let me give you um let me define loosing for you to loose means to untie to free from restraint to detach to disjoin to divorce to separate to unhitch to get free to get loose to escape to break away to unbind to unchain to unfetter to free to release to unlock to liberate to disconnect all right praise the name of jesus so some people hallelujah you may need to be loosed from curses loosed from familiar spirits loosed from sin loosed from guilt loosed from shame loosed from condemnation hallelujah loosed from control loosed from manipulation loosed from oppression loosed from mind control hallelujah some people may need to be loosed from religious spirits loosed from deception and false teaching loose from bad habits and just any type of demonic oppression hallelujah ungodly soul ties and ungodly oaths and ungodly pledges hexes and vexes and 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 trauma okay these are the things that people need to be loosed from all right and remember we read in the scripture matthew 18 18 you know you have a right to bind and to loose okay whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatsoever you loose on earth shall be loosed in the heavens okay so jesus has given you the the legal authority so if you are praying for someone and you begin to pray hallelujah and the holy spirit you pray by the holy spirit hallelujah because you will you have been given the right mark 16 17 he said these signs shall follow them that believe in my name they shall cast out devils and they shall speak with new tongues and you might be praying in the spirit over someone hallelujah that you're about to minister deliverance to 
hallelujah and as you begin to pray in the holy spirit the holy spirit may begin to hallelujah tell you what's what spirit is at work he may be he may begin to tell you hallelujah it's a spirit of mind control it's a spirit of deception it's a spirit of oppression and so as you're praying for that person hallelujah you take authority and you pray and you say father in the name of jesus i loose this person hallelujah i loose my brother from mind control i command the spirit of mind control to loose him and let him go in the name of jesus i command the spirit of of sickness the spirit of disease the spirit of deception to loose him in the name of jesus okay so this is how you function in binding and loosing where you are ministering de deliverance and you might for self deliverance how do you how do you pray self deliverance if god shows you that you are dealing with the spirit of, of depression or you are dealing with mind control you can lay hands on your own head and say father in the name of jesus i loose myself from depression i loose myself from the spirit of mind control i loose myself hallelujah from every unclean spirit that is trying to attack my mind my will and my emotions hallelujah this is how hallelujah you get free and you stay free by practicing personal self-deliverance hallelujah and by recognizing the your legal right your legal authority that has been given through to you through jesus christ to bind and to loose amen because we're, we're focusing in on binding and loosing on today amen hallelujah so i want you to I just want to make this statement to you again that you have been given the legal authority to loose yourself and to loose others that you might minister to hallelujah from the works of darkness now be led by the spirit hallelujah in what you are doing amen so let's go a little bit further hallelujah I want you to remember that for the christian hallelujah i want you to remember i just i keep interjecting this throughout the teachings because i want you to get it down in your spirit that our enemies are spiritual enemies and that our warfare is a spiritual warfare hallelujah because why because god is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth and remember hallelujah that satan was a spirit angels are spirits okay and so he is a he is a him and the fallen angels and the principalities and the evil spirits that we do battle with in our spiritual warfare they are spirit beings so that so that's why our warfare is called spiritual warfare and the weapons of our warfare are not carnal they are spiritual weapons and what are the weapons that we are talking about we're talking about prayer we're talking about using the word of god hallelujah as a weapon as the sword of the spirit okay praise the name of jesus hallelujah praise the name of jesus now let me give you i want to give you matthew 12 28 through 30 and this is jesus talking he said but if i cast out devils by the spirit of god then the kingdom of god has come upon you or else how can one enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods except he first bind the strong man and then he will spoil his house he that is not with me is against me and he that gathereth not with me scattereth abroad so remember hallelujah that we are just like jesus we cast out devils by the spirit of god hallelujah and because the greater one is in us hallelujah you have to bind the strong man okay there are times when you are dealing with deliverance and the holy spirit will let you know 
what the strong man what is the strong man you are dealing with what is the stronghold that you are dealing with you have to bind the devil before you cast him out okay in the name of jesus listen and allow the holy spirit to give you listen to give you the spirit that you are dealing with in deliverance okay hallelujah you might have to bind the strong man of pride you might have to bind the strong man of rebellion you might have to bind the strong man of deception okay hallelujah allow the holy spirit to lead you hallelujah in times of prayer and deliverance praise the name of jesus now i want to give you isaiah 58 6 hallelujah and i want to i have been encouraging you to fast um, that fasting helps um, during to you to receive your deliverance and so let me share the scripture with you isaiah 58 6 it says is this not the fast that i have chosen to loose the bands of wickedness to undo the heavy burdens and to let the oppressed go free and that you break every yoke okay did you get that fasting helps you to receive deliverance fasting helps to loose the bands of wickedness okay hallelujah to loose works of darkness all right and it breaks oppression hallelujah and it helps to breaks break the yokes of bondage so that's why i always encourage you whether in your personal life you know that you're trying to get free spend some time fasting and prayer pray spend time fasting and praying hallelujah to receive personal deliverance and then if you are having a deliverance service encourage the people hallelujah to fast spend some time in fasting before you have the deliverance service okay hallelujah praise the name of jesus we got to be scriptural see the bible gives us what we what we need to do that's why we spend time studying the word okay because when we study the word then we gain the knowledge that we need we gain the strategies that we need hallelujah to operate according to kingdom principles now jesus taught his disciples that some devils only leave only loose only come out of people through prayer and fasting and i want to give you that scripture passage and you can find that in matthew 17 and it's um verses 14 through 21 and it says and when they were come to the multitude there came to him a certain man kneeling down to him saying lord have mercy on my son for he is a lunatic and sore vexed for oftentimes he falleth into the fire and oft into the water and i brought him to thy disciples and they could not cure him then jesus answered and said O oh, faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him hither to me. And Jesus rebuked the devil, and he departed out of him. And the child was cured from that very hour. All right, this is verse 19. Then came the disciples to Jesus apart and said, Why could we not cast him out? Verse 20. And Jesus said unto them, because of your unbelief for verily i say unto you if you have faith as a grain of a mustard seed you shall say unto the mountain remove hence to yonder place and it shall remove and nothing shall be impossible to you verse 21 how be it this kind goeth not out but by prayer and fasting okay so in this deliverance i don't want you to miss this in deliverance you have to you have to operate in faith okay to cast out a devil hallelujah you have to have faith to cast out a devil and then there are times too when you are going to need to have been in prayer and fasting all right 
faith, prayer, and fasting. Hallelujah. Along with your binding and your loosing. All right. So I want to encourage you. I hope you have taken down the scriptures that I shared in this session. I want you to, I want to encourage you to go back over the scriptures, get them down in your spirit. Hallelujah. And know that you have a right. Hallelujah. To be free. You have been given legal authority to bind and to loose. Hallelujah. The works of darkness. All right. Well, I want to make sure that we have time to pray. So begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And then I'm going to lead you in a prayer. I'm praying a prayer from the book that I have been using by Apostle John Eckhart. It's called Prayers That Route Demons. Hallelujah. And I'm going to just Robo shot la 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 bo say lead you in this prayer of binding and loosing. Now, if you can repeat after me if you want to, or you can just pray in the Holy Ghost as I pray, or you you can just receive the prayer. Hallelujah! And if you feel that you need, you are receiving deliverance again. Remember to just take a deep breath, breathe out, exhale. If you need to sneeze, sneeze. If you need to cough, cough. Hallelujah. And just release. Let those spirits come off of you. Amen. Handa la 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 bushanda la 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 basota. Rama sanda la 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 basonde. Father God, I thank you, Lord, that you have given us the keys of the kingdom and whatever we bind on earth, Father. Hallelujah is bound in heaven and whatever we loose on earth is loosed in heaven. And Father, in the name of Jesus, I bind the strong man on today and I spoil his good. I bind the strong man of Leviathan and all proud spirits arrayed against the lion of your people and those under the sounds of my voice father in the name of Jesus I bind the principalities the powers the rulers of darkness of this world I bind spiritual wickedness in high places in the name of Jesus father I bind all sickness and disease hallelujah released against the minds and the bodies of your people in the name of Jesus father we declare hallelujah we say today hallelujah let the exiles be loose let the prisoners be loose father loose those appointed to death hallelujah i loose hallelujah their necks the people's necks from all bands i loose the people from the bands of wickedness in the name of jesus i loose your people from the bands of orion i loose your people from all in the name of jesus hallelujah i loose Hallelujah. Their minds, wills, and emotions from every assignment and spirit of darkness in the name of Jesus. Father, I loose our regions, our cities from every assignment of hell. I loose our finances, Father, from every spirit of poverty, debt, and lack. Father, I loose, hallelujah, your people from all generational curses and hereditary spirits. And I loose your people, O God, from every assignment of witchcraft sorcery and divination and i loose your people oh god from all spoken curses and negative words spoken against their lives in the name of jesus just receive that prayer guys Hallelujah. Just take a deep breath and release. The anointing removes every burden. The anointing destroys every yoke of bondage. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you and we praise you. Hallelujah. I reiterate to you that deliverance is a ministry of compassion and deliverance is a ministry of love and it's also a supernatural it's a miracle ministry and it really takes the grace of god hallelujah but as believers as followers of christ okay 
first he wants us to be delivered and set free and then we are told as believers hallelujah to cast out devils in his name so he wants us to receive our deliverance and then he wants us to begin hallelujah to minister deliverance to others amen